Hello adventurers and welcome to another Black Desert Mobile video. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, this one's going to be all about fairies. Fairies are really, really good for your CP. They also give you some pretty good daily gifts as well as bonus skills. So those skills will help your stats as well as your experience gains. I'll get a little bit more into that, but fairies, they do take a really long time to develop. So the sooner that you can work on them, the better, but you won't actually be able to unlock them them until you're around 30,000 CP. So if you're new to the game, you might not be able to get there yet, but once you get there, you will be able to uh, unlock them. And I highly encourage unlocking them immediately because it is a very long grind for them. So the requirements to unlock the fairies is you have to complete a Northeast Camasylvia main quest. And that main quest is Lemuria Guard Post Commander. So again, you should be around 30K CP. And then if you're curious, like how far into the story that is, you'll go to the log all the way down towards the bottom. You'll see Northeast Camasylvia, click that. In chapter one, if you scroll down, it's right here. Um, oh, excuse me. It's right here, Lemuria Guard Post Commander. So uh, it's not too far into the Northeast Camasylvia region, but you do at least have to reach there first. You should be pretty close to getting there if you've already done your seasonal characters, but that is pretty much the only requirement to get there. And then once you've done that, you'll go to your story and it's gonna be under Essential. So under Essential, you'll have this fairy quest right here. You'll accept it and pretty much just follow the whole storyline for it. It's not too crazy. It's it's pretty simple, but this is how you'll unlock fairy. So that's the first thing to actually get to your fairy tab. It's going to be over here on your menu on the right side. And then this is the view that you'll have. So there is a lot to cover for fairy. So I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible i'm not gonna go like into crazy amounts of detail or tell you like all of the little nuances i just want to give you a general overview so that way you feel more comfortable whenever you're working on your fairy and you don't feel like you're wasting your time or that it's super confusing because there are really good resources out there but <laughs> they don't always like tell you everything that you need to know so i'll do my best to tell you everything that you need to know and then i'll point you in the in the right direction for those other resources that will help tell you the more specific information that you might be looking for. So with that being said, let's jump right into this. So the first thing that you're looking at here is curiosity. The curiosity is pretty much the energy that you'll be using to do any of your activities with your fairy. I don't want to go too crazy on this, but let's kind of show you how you can get this curiosity. So if you need curiosity, which everyone will need it, you'll go down here to activities. And then here you'll click playtime and then you have a, a variety of options that you can pick from each option. It goes down in the amount of time that you have to spend doing it, but it also gives you less curiosity. So normally the one that I do is I'll just stick to meditate and then you'll click play and then you'll start. So you don't really have to do anything. You just have to wait for your fairy to be done with this quest. And then once it's completed, you can collect it and you can gain that curiosity. Or what you can do is you can click complete and then you can skip the wait time by using black pearls. I don't actually recommend doing that. I just did it because I wanted to show you an example, but I think it is kind of a waste of black pearls. There's really no need to, to rush through this. You just click it before you start your, your daily activities or whatever else you're doing, and then let it do it in the background. You don't, there's no rush for fairy. Also fairy, like I said, it does take a really, really long time. So. If you were to keep doing that every day, you'll be burning black pearls. So just be patient, just kind of wait it out and you'll be okay. So that's curiosity and how you gain it. The next thing I wanted to look at was twinkle. So twinkle can be accumulated by talking to your fairy or completing different wishes. There's also a couple other ways that you can get it, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. So for twinkle, as I said, you can talk to your fairy. So if you go to bond down here, you have these options right here. So if you talk to your fairy, it'll cost curiosity, but you'll get twinkle in return. And then also what you'll get is some other trait stats. So you can see these rewards right here. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's pretty simple. So if you were to just click it, you gain that as a reward. And then you also gain some other stuff, but I'll cover those again in a little bit. And then another thing that you can do for your twinkle is accepting these quests that are here. 
and then completing whatever it's asking you to do. So in this case, mine is just defeat enemies and I'll get Twinkle as well as some other traits in return. While you're playing earlier in the game, you'll have a lot different quests than what I have right here. So that'll kind of change depending on like how far along your fairy is, or if you have like a lower tier fairy, or even if you you have like a baby fairy that'll completely change. The rewards will change as well, but again, I do just wanna keep this as simple as possible, so I won't go into the specifics of each, each tier. Uh, I won't go into like your rewards for the baby. Just know that whenever you do these, you'll get Twinkle as, as a result, and then you'll also get some other stats. The last thing that I wanted to talk about on this page or actually not even close to the last thing. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of these three resources up here was intellect. So intellect is really good because you'll use it whenever you're upgrading your skills. But again, I'll talk about skills here in a second, but to actually gain intellect, you'll go back over here to bond and then you'll go to study. So whenever you give these items to your fairy, you'll be using some of your curiosity, but also keep in mind that some of these items will give you a better point value in terms of curiosity to intellect than others. So as you can see, it's it's two to three here, which is one to 1.5. But if I were to click something else, it's two to two here. So it's a one to one ratio. So some items will be better and that will kind of just depend on whatever personality your fairy has. Once again, I'll get into a little bit more about personalities here in a little bit. So speaking of personalities, I did wanna talk about traits next. So you have six different traits. You have cheerful, friendly, honest, relaxed, creative, and bold. And as you can see, there's a little underlying color here as well. So these two have green, these two have blue, and these two have red. So if you're probably, you're probably wondering like, what is that about? If you look up here, these, th these three diamonds up here have different colors as well. So if you click that, you'll have trait resonance. These trait resonance, Resonances are really good because it gives you a lot of CP. So as you can see here, I get around 1100 CP just from these resonances and you'll get these over time. So it's nothing to rush towards. It's nothing to stress over. It's just something as a bonus that you'll get for doing or for working on your fairy. Looking at this, this kind of shows you those colors from before. So the red colors, it's going to be bold plus creative. So it's looking at your total amount of points that you have for bold and creative. So let's say that I was at the very beginning and I had 40 bold and 20 creative. So that will give you 60 points and that would give you the first resonance. It'll do this for all three groups of these. So you can do the same with cheerful and friendly and then relax and honest. For the resonance, it doesn't actually matter which one you go for first, but if you're looking for a certain personality, your traits are gonna really matter. So your personalities, there's a few different ones, which let's jump into it really quickly right now. As you can see here in your album, there's 16 different personalities. There's really actually only like 15 and then Regal's like the last one. It's pretty hard to get. Even I don't have it yet, but I'll have it pretty soon. But there's 15 or 16 different personalities. And each one of these will kind of depend on what points do you have in those different resonances or what points do you have in total for those traits. So I'm gonna pull something up really quickly. I'm not gonna go into like a crazy amount of detail, but I did wanna show you that there are tools out there that will help you. And then the first tool that I wanted to talk about was bdm.tools forward slash fairy. So this is really helpful. Shout out to all the people who worked on this. If you go over here to fairy chart, this will show you that you can get different types of fairies based on the amount of points that you have in your tree. So as you can see here, these are kind fairies. This is gentle, sweet, caring. This is what I consider like the green fairies. So these are the green fairies. These are the red fairies. These are the blue fairies. These colors are based on these traits. So green fairies would be cheerful and friendly. Blue fairies would be honest and relaxed. Red would be creative and bold. The reason I pulled this up was to just show you that there are certain requirements to unlock these fairies. So as you can see here, you'll have to have higher trait points in the green ones 
than you do in the other ones. So that way you can unlock that type of fairy. I'm probably really butchering this right now, but um, this is just to show you that whenever you're trying to get a different fairy, if you want a specific color, you'll have to make sure that you're getting more of the green ones to get a green fairy, or you'll have to get more of the red traits to get a red fairy. So if you want like the specific numbers on this, I highly recommend checking out this website. I'll have the link in the description below. It is a little bit complicated, but once you get used to it, it's actually really easy to be consistent with it and just kind of follow it. The reason that you'll kind of, you'll want to go through every single one of these different personalities because you'll get rewards for them in return. So like if I unlock the kind one for the first time, I'll get this reward or if I unlock caring, I'll get this reward. But the real one that you're looking for is not in these, it's gonna be in memory. So these memories will give you other stats. So you can get defense plus 10, HP plus 10, and then you can get attack plus 10, uh, HP plus 10. So these are, are pretty good. It accumulates over time. So as you can see here, I just have 150 CP just from doing these memories. So to actually do them, you'll have to have this personality of a, of a fairy to be able to do this piece. And all this is, is you'll have to go to a specific location and then take a screenshot. It's gonna be an in-game screenshot. So again, this website right here shows you exactly all of the places that you need to go. So um, this is your album. If you go to green, it'll show you exactly where it's at. And then you'll just take an in-game screenshot, which I'll show you really quickly right now. So if you were to go to screenshot right here at the bottom right, all you'll have to do when you're in that location is click the little camera button and that's it. Sorry if I got a little bit complicated on that. I, I meant to give it a general overview, but this is really, really important and I'll probably I'll revisit this here in the same video, but for now, that is the general overview of the album and then memories and then also the traits. Let's keep moving on so that way we don't get stuck and it, we don't get too confused by everything. So to kind of talk about something on a lighter note, you can also purchase these outfits with black pearls. So you have an outfit and appearance shop. So you can kind of dress up your fairy. You can either do like this maid outfit. You can do whatever this is called. And then you can also do this one right here. There's not too many different outfits, but honestly, I kind of like it. I, I like being able to do something with my fairy. It was kind of boring before, but also you have these baby fairy outfits as well. So if you're new, you'll be having the, the baby fairy a lot. I never, my fairy doesn't go back down just because I'm, I'm the max level, but anytime that you're trying to blossom your fairy and if you fail, you're gonna get the baby fairy again. So all of these outfits you can purchase for black pearls. Again, it is just aesthetic. It doesn't do anything for you, but if you wanna know how you can actually buy these, you'll go to the pearl shop and then you'll go down to appearance and pets. And what you'll look for is fairy outfits. So you can just buy these with black pearls. And then there's also ornaments, which the only ornament right now is the glasses. And then there's also the headband, which honestly, I don't even know how I got that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then you'll, you'll have it here as well. So uh, kind of the same thing. So I like, I, I just bought this because it's like, it's cheap, it's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna have this fairy forever. So might as well just put an outfit on her. So that is pretty much it for the outfits. The next thing that I wanted to talk about were brooches. I'll probably cover like everything that there is to know about these just because it's so, it's so quick and easy. I might as well just cover it all. So brooches are really good for your CP as well. So you can get attack, defense, and HP. And then also, whenever you're upgrading your brooches, you'll also get PVP damage. There are two different brooches. You'll have your solar brooch, and then you'll have your lunar brooch. There are different grades for your brooches. So whenever you first start out, you'll start out with a normal brooch. And then while you're upgrading this brooch you'll have to enhance it so uh you're probably wondering like well what are the actual items that you need to enhance it so let's look at that really quickly and then i'll tell you more about the brooches so the items that you need to enhance the solar brooch are gonna be this exuberant stone so you'll get these by which actually if you click acquisition it'll tell you what you can do you'll get these by doing fairy adventure and then also fairy talk you're gonna be needing to do fairy talk anyways just to get your trait points. 
I wouldn't worry too much about them. As you can see, I have a lot of these. It's also because my, my solar brooch is already maxed out, so I don't actually use those, but you get a lot really consistently. So um, don't be too stressed. Just make sure that you're doing all of your other activities for your fairy and you'll accumulate these over time. The next one is gonna be these day blooms. These day blooms are what you're gonna use whenever you're trying to upgrade from one grade of your brooch to another. So let's go back and look at that just so I can show you. So go to brooch again. Whenever you're going from like primal to chaos, you'll need enhancement at plus 29. So you'll have to use all of those first items to get to 29. You'll go from one to 29. And then at 29, you'll use those day blooms for a chance to upgrade it to the next tier. So this will be chaos. Uh, you'll have to do that all the way through every tier. It seems like a lot, but I promise you it is not a lot. It's it's actually pretty easy. Um, it seems complicated, but it's not complicated. This is probably one of like the easiest things that you can upgrade and get a pretty decent amount of CP from as well. So this is also the same for your lunar brooch. As you can see, mine is still blue. So this one takes a lot of time. This one's, it's pretty hard to get the resources for this one. And um, like in the long term, this will be really good for your CP progression, but it just takes a long time. So let's look at what you need. So what you need, are gonna be these dawning moonstones to actually enhance it. So from one to 29, you'll need the dawning moonstones. The way that you can get them is by doing fairy wishes. So every time that you complete a fairy wish, you'll get 10 of these dawning moonstones and it costs a, a fair amount of them. So it, it takes me like a week just to upgrade it one time. And then also every time that you upgrade, your percentage of success goes down a little bit, but same thing, just like the day blooms, the item that you'll need for this one are gonna be these night blooms. So these night blooms will, again, just kind of help you go from one grade to the next grade. And then how you'll get it is doing fairy adventures. There's actually a couple of other ways you can get it. So what you can do is also go back in here to your pearl shop, go to miscellaneous, and then go to etc. So up here, you can see you can buy day blooms for social tokens. That's pretty cheap. I would recommend if you need day blooms, just go ahead and get that. It's a weekly purchase. You can start purchasing it if you want. I would not recommend buying it with um, with pearls. That's, uh, that's a crazy amount of pearls to be spending on it. And honestly, you don't even need that many night blooms. So never do that. <laughs> I don't, I don't even recommend using the black pearls, but yeah, you can also get them with these social tokens, which this is a really cheap amount. Like, as you can see, I have a whole lot of social tokens. I have um, a little over 600,000, so I could buy them if I want, but I don't actually need them because the lunar brooch just takes so long to upgrade anyways. But if you are kind of in a rush and you want a day bloom, go ahead and buy these. Just don't buy the other ones. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I think for brooches. It is kind of a grind, but just keep working on it and then make sure that you're trying to uh, acquire those different resources. As I had said, you can get like these different resources by doing these different tasks. So make sure that you're checking what you have to do. Really the only things that you'll have to do is go to bond and then you can talk, which will give you um, both of these resources which you'll need to do again, like anyways. And then you can finish a wish, which this one will give you the resources for enhancing the, the, the lunar brooch. So just kind of keep that in mind. So moving on, the next thing that I did want to look at was um, going back to this activities tab right here and then showing you that you can also do these adventures. So if you send out your fairy for adventures, you'll get a lot of different, you'll get a lot of different rewards. It depends on which one you're doing. Um, I'm not gonna go through all the rewards that you can get for each one. Just know that whenever you do this, you'll get some, some night blooms from this, but then also some pretty decent rewards. I would say just check them out. If you have eight hours where you're not doing anything with your fairy, you might as well just do it anyways. Um, so normally what I'll do is I'll send out my fairy once I'm done with all of my daily tasks for her. So back here on the main tab, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was skills. So as you can see right next to the trait, you can click these skills and see what you have equipped. But I wanted to talk about this actual button right here. To unlock each of these, you'll have to have a higher resonance for these traits. So um, 
I don't remember them off of the top of my head, but I believe this first circle in here is like just resonance one or zero. So you can get them like right off the bat. The next one will be like resonance three. I believe the next one is resonance five. The next ring is resonance seven. And the last one is resonance nine. However, I could have those numbers completely wrong. So please don't hold me to them <laughs> because I don't remember. And it, I tried to see and it's not showing me what the requirements were. So um, just kind of keep working on your resonances. If you're new to the game, what I would definitely recommend is prioritize the red ones because if you kind of go through them the the skills are a lot better so the skills that you get up here from the green ones are not that good the blue ones they're all right and then the red ones i think are the most important so honestly whenever i was working on my fairy i always went for the red first that's why you see that my resonance is highest in the red um, but the reason that it's so good is for this skill right here dark energy experience plus 10% and then also something else that you can get is this daily twinkle gift this twinkle is going to help you so much in the long term or the long run for upgrading your fairy so those two are really really important really really good but then also something else that i highly recommend is just this fairy gifts as well um, you're probably wondering okay well that's how you get them i guess i see which ones you should get how do i enhance them so whenever you're upgrading them you will use your intellect so again to get your intellect, you just have to offer gifts to your fairy and then you can get it, but it's in exchange for your curiosity points. So if I were to do this, go to bond, go to fairy, you just offer something up over to them and then you go to your skill. So that's like a really basic overview of your skills. As you can see here, I have seven skills that I can equip, but you will not start with seven. You'll actually start with a lot less, but you'll get more from the amount of times that you blossom your fairy and upgrade your fairy. So if you go back over here, let's talk about blossoming really quickly. For blossoming, you have seven different tiers or seven, seven different fairy grades that you can have. So when you first start, you'll have fuzzy, and then whenever you upgrade it, you'll go to vivid, glistening, dazzling, radiant, iridescent, and then resplendent. For each one, you can see that you'll get one extra skill slot. So pick wisely early on which skills that you want, and then later on, it'll kind of matter a little bit less, but even then you still won't have enough skills. So even me, I have to swap my skills every now and then. Something else that you can kind of see here is that you'll get bonuses for your curiosity. So every time that you upgrade your fairy, you will get a higher max amount of curiosity that you can have. So also every time that you blossom or attempt to blossom, the maximum amount of your trait points will go up. So this is the max trait at first is 300, but you'll still start at zero or at 10 as your max. So you'll have 10, you'll probably cap out at 10 on some of them while you're trying to get enough twinkle to upgrade the next one but whenever you blossom you'll get plus 10 as your max so now instead of having your maximum amount of points for cheerful friendly like all of these you'll start at 10 but after blossoming you'll have 20 as your max so even here you can see uh, I have 406 out of 480. When I blossom, I'll have 490 as my max. So just kind of keep that in mind. There is a cap early on for how many points that you can have in each trait, uh, and that'll just slowly go up as you keep blossoming. So just as a reminder, whenever you're upgrading your fairy, if you fail your blossoming, you'll go back to a baby fairy. When you're at a baby fairy, you'll have different options for your talk. You'll have different options for your quests. So this is going a little bit into like more niche, more detailed information. So you'll get more twinkle while you're a baby, but you'll get less, um, less trait points. So I believe whenever you do your, your fairy wish quests, Whenever you're a baby, you don't get any of these trait points. You just get the twinkle, but you do you do still get both. I think with um, with whenever you're talking to her. So there's that at least. So I did just want to revisit a couple of things. So going back over to the album, it is really confusing at first trying to do this, um, and it's also pretty confusing the way I explained it. But if you want a certain color, make sure that you're indexing more points in one of these resonance colors. So I highly recommend just doing the red ones first 
and then working on your blue. So I'll normally keep my blue and my red like pretty close together the whole way through. But again, the reason I did that was I just wanted to get these skills. These skills are really, really good, but also Whenever you're trying to upgrade your fairy or blossom them to a new tier, whenever you're trying to get these, the conditions change, but some of these colors have like priority over the others. So if I had the same amount of green as I did red, like I had a hundred each and I tried to blossom, I won't end up with a red fairy ever. I'll always end up with a green. So green has higher priority over, over red and I believe blue also has higher priority over over red so i worked backwards i worked with doing red first then i did blue and then i went green i'm not gonna be like super specific as to why you should but just <laughs> try to take my word for it i i would do that if i was you um but it's it's definitely up to you it's your journey whatever you want to do with your fairy however you want to make it work make it work whenever you're trying to upgrade and get different personalities for your fairy i highly highly recommend checking out this website if you're confused hopefully this will help you out but it'll kind of tell you like what points do you need to be able to get the next fairy and i think that this fairy chart kind of does it best where it tells you okay i know that all i want really is these red ones how many points do I need? Okay, so I need 100 points of both stats and the total amount of points have to be the highest. So like you can have a total amount of points for another um, group of stats, but it could end up having higher than this. That will that'll mess this up for you. So make sure that you also have the highest total for those stats in that trait that in that trait group that you want so the red ones the blue ones or the green ones again check this out this will this will really help you out but it does take a really long time to work on these so don't stress about it don't get too caught up in like oh man like if i use the wrong stat it's gonna mess me up it's like no it's it's fine like you have time like as you can see there's a huge amount of number that you need and you'll realistically only be getting like 10 points a day again i'll leave the link in the description for this resource and then also something that i wanted to mention was there's a lot of other stuff in here as well so um this is kind of alluding to whenever you're blossoming to iridescent or resplendent you can fail stack so you have a really really low chance to blossom into iridescent and resplendent so what they did was after a certain amount of fails you'll just automatically get it you'll get it for sure but it takes a lot so if you were to add all of these up that's how many total you have to do to actually guarantee that you got it there are also some other ways that you can like boost your chances of it if you're curious about it, I recommend like looking at your fairy gifts for your skill. So if you go over here, fairy gifts, some things that you can get is um, this right here. So sweet honey. So this will increase your chances to um, to blossom. So it it helps, but it's really not that helpful. It's it's not the best. But then also for these skills, the reason I highly encouraged getting this one right here, enhanced fairy gifts is because the higher level you are, you'll start out right here. But if you max out that skill, you can have a chance to get these Chaos Jewels. You can also have a chance to get these Acrid and then also these Inscribed Glyphs. So this skill is really, really good. I recommend keeping it active anytime that, that you're not using any of the other skills. So yeah, and then also whenever you do uh, these other ones, which I highly encourage as well. So early on, I encourage trying to get these gifts because the intellect one will give you intellect which will help you skill up all of your skills in the long run and then the twinkle gift will help you keep blossoming your fairy and keep keep upgrading her so uh, it's really not a lot of twinkle but it adds up in the long run early on keep those on and then um, once you're like at a point like me or like even if you're like at an orange fairy or something, you can take them off if you want to. You, they're not like super necessary, they're not required. I just think that if you have a long road ahead of you, you might as well keep it on the whole time. Like even for me, I never keep the market one on. I just put it on today because I had some stuff I wanted to sell. So looking back over here on BDM tools forward slash fairy, there are some other things that you like some other information in, in here as well. I don't really care too much about the talk stuff or the wish stuff, but whenever you're doing your album, let's say you have a caring fairy and you're trying to do your memories over here. 
So as you can see, it's sweet slash caring or just straight up caring. So you'll have to take these pictures. That website will show you exactly where those pictures are in what region, everything you need to know is in there. But some people are always like worried about this. Like what if I skipped my kind fairy? Like, can I never go back? The answer is, is yes, you, you can go back. Like it's fine. Like you don't have to go back to kind, but as long as you have a fairy that is a higher tier. So these are all green fairies, which means that you'll have It'll be based off the resonance of these two, so it's a green fairy, cheerful and friendly. But if you have a higher tier, so gentle would be higher than kind, sweet is higher than gentle, caring is higher than all of them. If you have a higher tier, you can always go back and do these screenshots for them. Let's say that I was, like I went from a blue carefree fairy, but then I wanted to change to like a red fairy. I can still do that. But because of the number of points that I have, I would completely skip the lower two because I have to have a lot more points. So I still wouldn't wait though. <laughs> I would still make sure that you do it because it is kind of hard to swap um, your personality of fairy later on, but it's not impossible. It's definitely not impossible. And then there's like, there's a little bit more information on fairies um, out there. So like if you go back over to BDM tools, any of these uh, album pictures, make sure that you're kind of just checking them. If you want to find out where they're at, like it's it's labeled like, okay, this is for the kind fairy, this is for this one, and it'll tell you exactly what map to go to and then show you on the map where you need to be. So again, I highly encourage using this. It's, it's pretty helpful. But then also there are some hidden events where if you are running somewhere um, or if you go somewhere, you can get these different uh, rewards as well. So you can get Twinkle, you can get Curiosity, and then some of them will also give you traits. If you want to kind of try to work through your fairy early on, you can do this. There's not that many, so it doesn't actually do that much, but something's better than nothing, as I always say. So yeah, it's definitely up to you. So I did want to go back really quickly to, to these pearl shop items that you can get. So if you were to go again to miscellaneous and then click etc. I recommend getting some of them, but not all of them. If you really want to try to grind this, the one that I recommend is doing this daily uh, whispering do. This one's pretty cheap. I honestly forgot how much it costs. I think it's like 180, 190 pearls, uh, black pearls. So that one's a good one to get. You can also get these whispering do's, which are the weekly ones. All these costs are black pearls, or you can also get these vase of dawning light dew. Um, you have a long list of things that you can get from here. So you can get twinkle, you can get intellect, uh, and then you can also get some of these traits. I think the best ones are definitely the twinkle and then the traits are, are pretty all right as well. So that's like the only, those are the only things that I really recommend other than the ones that you can buy for uh, social tokens. So. Those are pretty good as well. Um, everything else is not so good. I think it's like a, a bad value. So if you're ever curious, like, well, I'm kind of lost. I can't remember where to go. You can just do this check all and go to fairy deals and everything will be right here for you. I don't recommend the money ones. Um, just try to stick to these. But yeah, I would prioritize the vase of Dawning Light Dew and then the Whispering Dews. Those are really good. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much everything that I had to cover for this. Fairy is pretty complicated, but I tried to make it as as simple as possible. I know that I did still get a little bit um, confusing at some points, but uh, this is this is a pretty tough topic to can't, to tackle, especially like from an overhead level. While you're doing it, it'll make a lot more sense. So again, once you can do this or once you unlock it, try to unlock it and then make sure that you're staying on top of it every day because again, it is a grind. It is something that you need to make sure that you're doing daily, otherwise, it'll just never progress and then you'll never see the rewards from it. So the rewards are definitely worth it and I hope this helps you out. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate the support. We're coming up on 800 subscribers, so I'm super grateful for that. And then um, <laughs> I'm already looking forward to 1000. I don't know what I'll do for it, but again, I hope that this content definitely helps you out. And if not, let me know. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.